your little boy went to school for the first time. It's a big deal, isn't it? He starts on Monday. Right, well, it's a big deal. And I had a little cry last night because he's not really... We've lived all over, so he's not really done sort of regular nursery, so it's going to be a big change. Yeah. And I'm really selfish. I feel like our wings are going to be clipped, you know? I'm going to have to be somewhere every Monday. Uh, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I'm not big on routine. Uh, no. Oh, he's yeah. gorgeous. He's be... ready, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, I, think, I don't think you ever are. And anybody that says that they're not emotional about it is a big fat liar because you are. I had to buy Very the two-year-old so. the same uniform because he felt he was missing out. <laughs> Did she? <laughs> Cost me a fortune. <laughs> you have to do that. It's fine. Get them big and they'll grow into them. Helen, this is great. I love this. It really, it just cheered me up looking at it. Thank you. But you are as hard as nails. You're amazing. Now, you're not saying that everybody has to cycle to Antarctica. Oh, God. But it's just getting people out and about, isn't it? And do you know what? I love coming on this show. It's so good for my ego. You're so lovely <laughs> to me. But... It, the whole point of this is to say to people who do want to push themselves a little bit yeah. or who do want to do something different, and it's not even about going outside and doing huge adventures every day of the week. It's about trying something different sure. and trying to encourage them to do it. I was really lucky that I was part of some great adventures, went all over the world. Amazing. And, Amazing. And not everyone's going to have that opportunity, but I've tried to break it down to say to people, look, try something different. Put yourself out of your comfort zone. And, you know, we talk so much about young women and young men not having the confidence and not knowing what they're about mm. and this hopefully will just say to them oh, give them a little bit of encouragement and it's funny as well it's Thank funny you. it's got loads of humor in it it's got loads of really really good practical advice that's what I like about it. There's, you know, it tells you what to wear, what to do. It talks about going to the loo. It talks about, you know, it talks about everything that you want to know. And I think that that is absolutely fantastic. But the thing about kids these days is far too many of them, because you know, parents sometimes sort of cover them in cotton wool and stuff. But they're sitting in front of a computer and they're not outside. And they're not enjoying stuff. And that's life, though. I mean, I'm a yeah. parent too, and my kids want to go on an iPad and want to go on an iPhone, and it's unrealistic to suggest that, that they shouldn't do that. But what I wanted to do with this book is exactly that, have a little... Oh, you can build a tent in your back garden. You can build a yeah. den in your back bedroom. And it's so funny you mentioned the loo. Every school trip I do, all kids want to know about is, where do you, is it true if you do a number two in Antarctica that it stays frozen for 100 years? And it does, because there's no <laughs> little bugs to eat it down, so you do have to put it in a sandwich bag and take it with you. Which is lovely. Sorry for having your breakfast. No, 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 it's fine. No, these things are very important. Kids want to know that. Talking about. But I lo don't I love... I mean, that's the thing about kids. They will ask those questions. Yeah. And that's what we all want to know. You know, we, we want to know these things. And it's the little <laughs> things like that that make trips doable or not. When I came back from Antarctica, all my hair snapped off because the bits that used to stick out of the, the balaclava yeah, 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 yeah. just froze and snapped off after Jeez. years of bleaching. <laughs> incredible it's absolutely amazing what you did say all of these things that you've done the most terrifying adventure was was having your baby oh my second son yeah, yeah. that was yeah that was a tough day at the office so yeah. to speak so we were living in france my husband was in england i went into labor and i think you're a bit when you got because my eldest was under two at the time so i sort of was kind of thinking i have not got time for this today <laughs> Good things to do. <laughs> things escalated, <laughs> and before I knew it, yeah, I was giving birth on the kitchen floor. Wow. Well, my eldest thought I was playing dinosaurs, so it was hit me on the head with a plastic sword, as two-year-olds do. Helen, gosh. Um, but you know what it's like. You've got a daughter. I think people say, oh, how did you do that? When you're a parent, you just get on with it because you have to, because yeah. you're thinking about There's them. There's no other option, is there? No. You've just got to. I couldn't really say, oh, do you know what? I'd like, yeah, the second time round, I wanted all the drugs. <laughs> just <laughs> in my kitchen, give me, many. give me everything. So you are a very adventurous woman. Are there, are there still adventures to come? Oh, there's loads of stuff I'd love to do. And a yeah. part of the reason that I wrote that was, you know, I, I adore being a mum. It's the best thing I've ever done. And I've been very lucky that I've had loads of times at home with them. But I kind of want my boys to know that I'm not just the lady who wipes their bottoms and, yeah, and tells some them to brush their teeth. teeth yeah. and, and it was funny. One of the things that made me write that was with my son in Blackpool and we saw a little girl on um, a slide. Yeah. And he went, oh, she's on her own. Why is she not with her mummy? And I said, oh, she's very brave. And my son went, oh, like you, mummy. And I was like, oh, oh that's the best thing anyone's ever said to me. That's fantastic. And I think I wanted to sort of write it, to have something to say. Yeah. I've done stuff without always going, oh, it was this one-time kids when I did this, that and the other. Sure. So, and and like I said, loads, loads more to come, Helen. I want to do something sailing. I want to do something climbing. Right. Trying to do little things. Alistair Humphreys is a big inspiration of mine. He's just in a big adventure around the UK yeah. because you can have adventures in the UK can. without going to the South Pole for six weeks. <laughs> yeah. So I'm yeah. trying to find stuff that I can do as a foursome. We just bought a camper van, so we, uh, we live out of our van Fantastic. on the beach a lot. Also as well, look, you're doing this show next week, I believe. Is it coming out next week? Yes. Which is about scammers. 
Because you got really, really taken. It was awful. I am... Um... Do, I'm really busy at the minute doing a big programme for ITV, which is next Thursday night, right. all about scamming. I got phoned up by the bank, uh, told something dodgy had gone on with my account. A week later, £70,000, all my savings had gone. Seventy grand. All Jeez. gone. Jeez. And it was just a few questions over the phone. And the reason I've made this programme is because it happens every day of the week yep. to all members. It's, we're not talking about little old ladies who are victims who don't understand the internet. Mm. That's a massively naive assumption. Right. It's happening to people and they're too embarrassed to say that it's happened. Ah. So we've got a programme on next week which is hopefully going to help people be aware, be on guard and avoid that. No, absolutely. And sometimes you, you are caught off balance sometimes on the phone. I mean, if, if you can be caught out... For goodness sake, because you're not daft. I had one kid up a tree, one wrestling the dog, yeah. and another dog throwing up the kid's sure. birthday cake. So when they phoned me from the bank and said, oh, do you know what, something's gone on... And you don't... Ex you're, you're disarmed. You don't expect it. But you also don't question your bank. No, you don't. And you should. We absolutely should.